Good afternoon or evening everyone in today's video we are continuing to monitor the severe weather outbreak it's going to be beginning tomorrow and then heading throughout Thursday. We're looking at the day two convective outlook from the storm prediction center. This is the severe thunderstorm outlook. We have a slight risk for severe storms tomorrow of a level 205 on the severe weather scale for Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, uh, Missouri, uh, Iowa, Nebraska, and Arkansas may see uh, some pretty widespread severe weather throughout tomorrow. Also in the marginal risk, which is level one out of five on the severe weather risk scale, that is where you could also see some isolated severe storms throughout tomorrow. The tornado risk is, is gonna be mainly here throughout Northern Texas and Central Oklahoma, throughout the 5% brown risk. This is definitely, this is pretty much a five times the chance you, you, of a tornado forming throughout that brown area than that normal chance for a tornado. So a five times chance here uh, for tornadoes in that brown region, and then a two times chance here that you could see tornadoes in that green area. So you're gonna see the higher probability in the brown region rather than the green. You're gonna have a 15% chance here for 60 mile per hour winds across that yellow region also a five percent chance for also 60 mile per hour winds within those line of storms and again it's going to be mainly a line of storms and not really many supercells throughout tomorrow but mainly for wednesday that's going to be the main supercell of the day throughout the south now for the hail chance it's pretty much the same as the wind chance just a little more narrow uh where you could see that area of a 15 percent chance there for quarter sized hail also again five percent chance for quarter sized hail and higher in the brown region. Now here's the day three outlook. This is the for Wednesday. So the Wednesday severe weather we're gonna be looking at here. As you can see, we have an enhanced risk here for severe storms, which is the level, level three out of five. Uh, tomorrow we only have a level two out of five, but again, for Wednesday, level three out of five. So very escalated, uh, escalated risk here for severe weather, especially on Wednesday. I don't think it's gonna be upgraded any further to a moderate risk, which is a level four out of five, but definitely it's gonna stay here in enhanced risk, I do think, but we just do still have that possibility. I don't really control the storm prediction center. Uh, and let's look at the probability, probabilistic outlook, which is pretty much the tornado, wind, and hail risks all mixed, mixed together, which we do have a significant chance for all hazards. So tornadoes, hails, and wind in that kind of black hatched region. Right here, you do have a significant chance, again, for tornadoes, winds, and hails. So winds at 70 miles per hour, uh, larger than quarter size tail possible. And also a few tornadoes, even intense tornadoes could be possible here throughout that red shaded area here. Also the 15% chance that you could also see some very widespread severe storms, but that main threat again, is gonna be mainly in that red shaded area. This video is gonna be split up into two parts. So we're gonna be looking at the severe weather here uh, for, to, for tomorrow uh, on Tuesday. And then we're gonna be going ahead and look at the uh, severe weather for Wednesday, maybe a little bit at Thursday. And then we're gonna be talking about the snowfall possible from this system these storms are going to be likely forming by 8 p.m on tuesday as you can see let's move forward to around 9 p.m and you're definitely seeing a line of clustered thunderstorms here across texas and oklahoma really not that many storms but there are going to be some possible storms there in possibly kansas nebraska iowa maybe some storms there but really not super severe and maybe even a little discrete supercell or two in iowa but again look at that line of storms it's gonna be 12 a.m of now wednesday so you're definitely seeing that line of storms uh that possible here in oklahoma and texas this is going to be moving throughout Arkansas by around 6 a.m. of Wednesday. And you're seeing a lot of storms again in eastern Texas. Now in Missouri, you're seeing some of those severe storms around the morning hours here of Wednesday. Let's move forward even more. And as this line of storms approaches uh, Louisiana and Arkansas, this continues to uh, travel eastward into Mississippi and Tennessee. This is where you're going to see the main threat of tornadoes winds and hail uh, around the afternoon hours of Wednesday. Again, Kentucky, you may see those storms as well. I think you are going to see a pocket of here of uh, discrete supercells possibly with that main threat of tornadoes across southern Mississippi and northeastern Louisiana and southeastern Louisiana. And look at these storms even uh, traveling just along the cold front there uh that uh, that first started these storms you're starting more storms up here just uh, behind this line that are just kind of gradually uh traveling along the cold front here i mean look at this line of storms as it approaches tennessee and the nashville area also birmingham may see these storms as well uh again uh, winds hail it's going to be mainly for alabama and more central tennessee 
Tornadoes will be still possible in Alabama, uh, but again, 70 mile per hour winds, uh, um, probably some large hail with this if there is a lot of cape, a lot of energy that these thunderstorms can pick up. So definitely some very severe storms here for winds that we can't go any further, but tomorrow's video, there'll be a lot, a ton more details as I will be able to make definitely uh, possible a couple of videos tomorrow since those storms will develop late night. And then I probably won't be able to do a live coverage uh, for that overnight hours because these those storms are definitely going to develop here a lot later than usual. Let's take a look at the snowfall here that's going to be going throughout Tuesday into Wednesday and even Thursday where you could see some snowfall across the northern plains and northern Midwest. You can see the snowfall here starting around 12 p.m. lunchtime hours of Tuesday across the Dakotas. And that snowfall becomes very widespread here across western Nebraska in the evening hours here of Tuesday into Wednesday. As you can see, a lot of snowfall from that low pressure system that's going to be going into Minnesota around the lunchtime hours of Wednesday. Also, some snowfall possible in Iowa uh, there uh, again for uh, around the evening hours of Wednesday. Iowa, Minnesota, and even Wisconsin here could see some of that snowfall. Now, due to that low pressure system going into more of Iowa, the eastern Iowa, and then going into um, uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, I believe, is not going to see a lot of snowfall. And even Michigan, you may see uh, pretty much just rainfall from this because this low pressure is literally taking a dive uh, and going along this jet stream and carrying along those warm temperatures all the way up there into Michigan, bringing mainly rainfall from this system. I mean, look at this already total snowfall amounts. We don't have this full model out yet, but even lake effect snow, Look at this lake effect snow over here. Just a little bit of dusting of lake effect snow. And I think that's actually snow squalls here that are continuing throughout today uh, across Pennsylvania and New York. But look at this snowfall amount in uh, literally late March. This is we're seeing 10 inches of snowfall across these pink areas across the Dakotas and Minnesota. More of those darker blues where you're seeing much more uh, widespread snowfall. You're seeing upwards of three to four inches of snowfall. Again, this is late in March, and you typically do see a little bit of snowfall events uh, in late March for these of uh, uh, really northern plains regions until about late in May. That's when those snowstorms typically stop in the northern plains. Again, you could even see some snowfall possible in Kansas uh, for crying out loud. This is definitely a quite the uh, insane system. Also, Iowa. Definitely a dusting of snowfall is going to be possible for you, but it's going to be a little too warm for it to develop a little for that snowfall to really develop and really uh, pick up uh, in, in those areas. If you did enjoy the update, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are new and turn on post notifications, you won't miss a single update or live stream on this major severe weather event. Also, make sure to share this video with any friends or family that may live in these areas. Uh, especially the severe weather areas for tomorrow and Wednesday and even Thursday. We'll have an update for Wednesday and Thursday's severe weather in tomorrow's video. But as always, stay safe.